Right, we have the sliding door here. It's very old and it is now catching on the track. It's like it's stuck. So what has happened is either the wheel has gotten too low or the bearing or the wheel is damaged. So inside here, there's a wheel that looks like that and that runs on this track. Now what happens is the plastic breaks or the bearing seizes or it just wears out. Now there is a screw on the front here. Now that screw allows the wheel to lift up or down. So as I screw this in, the wheel is now going up. As I screw it out, anti-clockwise, the wheel will now be going in. So there you can see the wheel is now lower. It's sliding along this space here. So that's also important because if you want to get the sliding door out, you also need to get the wheel up on this one. As you can see, by unscrewing the screw, the wheel has actually gone down, which means that the door would now be flush on the track. Why that's important is because in order to get this door out, you usually need to lower the wheel first. So I'm now going to lower the wheel. Now on this sliding door, there are two holes here. The top hole is a screw that actually holds the frame together. So I need to go to the bottom hole here. So what I need to do is now first just check if the wheel has gotten too low. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first screw this in to see if I can lift the wheel if that makes the sliding door loose when it travels. I can even see the sliding door is now lifted. So I've lifted this up now by screwing this in clockwise and it is not grinding on this track anymore. If I try and move this, firstly I can see there's too much free play. It's like the door wants to wobble. Secondly, I can hear it making a funny sound in there. So I suspect that this wheel has collapsed. I'm now going to unscrew this and release the door from the track. Right, you can see that the sliding door is now resting on the track and the wheel is at the minimum position. Now I must just do that on the back wheel. Right, so I'm going to do the same here just to make sure the wheel is in the uppermost position. I'm using a star screwdriver. Right, now the sliding door is resting on the track. Now it'll be easier to remove it. Right, now we're going to remove the sliding door. Right, so what we're doing is we're lifting it up and sliding it off the rail. Now every installation is different. Now in this case, they've plastered the sliding door in to such a degree that it's very hard to get it out. For example, if we lift the sliding door, it just hits on the plaster that is next to the sliding door. See, when I try and lift it, there isn't much space there for me to lift it. So what we had to do is we had to knock out some of the plaster. So in this case, we had to make a little hole in order to lift the sliding door. We'll have to replaster that when we are finished. Right, now what we're going to do is we're going to take the sliding door off and flip it so we can get to the wheels. Right, it'll be easier to work if we just take this little stopper off. Right, so there's the old wheel and just rotating it with my finger, I can see that it is faulty. I'm going to pull it out. Now on the side, there's a little lip that needs to be lifted. Right, to get this out, I'm going to use a long nose pliers. You want to pull it out straight. If yours is a bit stuck, you can use a screwdriver to help you. There is a lip running along here, so if you want to clear that lip, you'll just need to use a screwdriver just to open this a bit. So I'm taking my pliers there, and I'm taking my screwdriver, and I'm pulling it out. Just like that. Right, so these are single door rollers. These are 15 millimeter. Right, so here's the old one, and here's the new one. Right, having a look at the old one, this wheel, as you can see, it's got way too much free play. It can wobble and it can go up and down. You can see how much free play it's got. And look at that. And it's no longer smooth. Here's the new one. Very little lateral free play and very smooth. And it doesn't bounce up and down. As you can see, it remains intact. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install this one and then lower the wheel. Right, to refit this, there's a wing there and there's a space there. So I align that in the space there and all I do is I press it in. At an angle is wrong, you want to push this in straight. There you can see I'm pushing it in straight and you can use pliers just to seat it. Now it's cleared this lip and now it is seated. Now it is going to be much more difficult to get the sliding door on while the wheel is protruding like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew the wheel so that the wheel can go down. So I'm unscrewing, this is anti-clockwise and you can see that wheel is now 
depressing inside the frame. Right, now I'm going to fit the back one. Right, the one at the back, it's actually seized as well, so I just need to remove it. If yours is a bit stuck, you can just use a screwdriver to lift that a bit to clear that lip that's running along there. Now this one is really jammed in here, so I'm actually bending these wings inwards. Right, so in this case I've actually bent these and now I can slide it out. Okay, so this one was stuck inside, so what I did is actually squash these in order to slide it out. Right, now I'm just fitting the new one. Remember to go in straight. Right, I just tap it in place, I check the alignment and it is now flush. Now I'm just going to depress this wheel. Now I'm going to unscrew the screw to drop that sliding wheel in. Okay, the process is to start at the top and then do the bottom. When you are sliding the door back onto the track, make sure not to damage the brand new wheels. As you can see, we've got a face brick floor that will totally destroy these wheels if we slide it. But keeping in mind that we did depress the wheels, so they are not exposed that much. You just need to get the top of the sliding door back in the space here. And now we make sure the wheels are on the track. Now we just need to lift the roller. It can help if someone can just lift the sliding door while you're doing this exercise. Right, so that has been lifted. I don't lift it all the way, I just lift it a little bit. If you lift it too much, it will have more free play. When you maintain your door, you can always check this and lift it some more. You now lift the back roller. Right, there's the sliding door and even if I just press on it you can see it carries on rolling nicely. Make sure that this still locks and that it's not catching. You've got to make sure that this aligns into there. If you make the wheels too high it may no longer align. Open the sliding door all the way from left to right. Check that there is no scratching or scraping and then do a final check to see that the clearance by the wheels are correct. Sometimes when people install a sliding door, the track is not completely horizontal and you may need to make the one wheel lower or higher than the other wheel. All right, thanks for watching and cheers.